In this video, we will be looking at a giant Lego marble run that takes these small orange Lego marbles and passes them from one machine to the next in a giant loop. Starting out, we have one of my favorite models, which is this Super Mario Kart Rainbow Road display. I love the way he's used all of the colors here to capture the essence of Rainbow Road. You can see he's got some cool figures here with Bowser, Luigi, Toad, Peach, Yoshi, Mario, and even another Toad there in the cart in the back. But even though these figures aren't official, they turn out really cool. I love the way he has used the transparent colors in LEGO to create arrows in the direction that they're supposed to be racing. And then he's got all sorts of items here from the game really turned out cool. The ring itself just takes the balls and then drops them off at the top and moves them on to the next module which is this sort of construction module here. It passes them to this long bridge. That's the way that the builders are able to get in and out of the display here so they can go underneath that bridge. That then passes it to a little pusher that takes the marbles and brings them around and over to the next one. Now this next one here is pretty cool. It's got this series of kind of construction buckets. And so you, it's passing the balls from one bucket to the next in a series until it gets to this really, really tall mechanism. So it's kind of a conveyor belt system. And then you see at the top, it's got maybe a dragon head up there which then shoots and scores them into this giant basketball hoop, which I think turned out really cool with all the nets. From there, they go into this kind of interesting model with the carrots versus the bunnies. I guess the bunny is trying to eat the carrots and the carrots are having none of that. And from there, it goes into this neat looking hockey module. I think this one turned out really cool with the hockey players spinning around and around and using their sticks to pass the balls into the next machine there, which is apparently banana themed. That takes the balls and then puts them into this slow stepping motion, which there's actually a couple of those in a row with, where they're moving the steps up and down to in sequence to push the balls up to the next mechanism, which is what is the blue baller. So this is a pretty cool one where they have these larger blue balls that get lifted up at the same time as the orange balls, but then the orange balls pass on through while the blue balls continue to cycle through the machine. Next up is this pump module, which is pumping one ball at a time up and through to the next module. And here we've got kind of a stepper module into a, another conveyor belt, kind of a smaller one. After the conveyor belt, we have this really cool wheel where the balls will slot into a different slot and then as the wheel rotates it lifts them up and drops them into the next basket there which puts them on this horizontal conveyor this one's really neat because the technic pins that hold the balls in the perfect spot they widen as it gets around the corner of that tread and that widens enough just to drop the balls into the next machine Here we've got a couple of kind of similar themed ones, the pink one and the brown one here, where it takes the balls and it uses a ramp to kind of push the balls up and over the top into the next module. Where there is another ring, this one even bigger, the balls slot into it, get lifted up, and then push into these next few modules. Kind of some familiar looks to these ones. And then it goes across this longer bridge to this picker module, which is a pretty cool one. You can see kind of the hands taking the balls and passing them back and forth to the next on and on, which then curves around to this bright lime and orange module, which is picking up balls and sticking them into this really pretty module. The colors here really work well. Takes them up these stairs and then around this curvy slide down into the next one where there's another picker and this uses kind of three fingers to pull, pick up the ball and then drop it off in the next slot where this is another really cool one. So there's kind of a simple tread system there that lifts them up. 
but then there's this abacus. So they have the ones place, tens, one hundreds, and a thousands. When the ones place fills up, it drops one of the balls to the tens and lets the rest of them through, and so on. Next up is another mesmerizing one. It's taking one side of all the balls, pushing them up, then takes the other side and back and forth. So pretty and satisfying to watch this one. Those macaroni pieces really look cool. It takes them then to this four bar linkage, which is kind of like an oil rig where it takes the balls in a cyclic motion there back and forth to this one. You can see the next module's having a little trouble. It's got a ball stuck in the corner, but it is able to take a ball here and push it through and up to this next module, which this one again, looking kind of familiar. You can see there's a couple in a row with the brick slopes emblem on the side, and they are ones that people have kind of done workshops on in the past. So there's some that are kind of similar. A lot of people have done it takes them to this kind of interesting looking almost corkscrew mechanism and then another tread that pushes them into one of my other favorite modules which is this remote controlled kind of snowplow looking vehicle. This one I had an opportunity to drive and it's super satisfying to push them on and into the next hole especially when you can get a whole bunch like that. That then goes into this cool looking snowboarder half pipe which is kind of fun and then that leads us back to the beginning with the Super Mario Rainbow Road. If you enjoyed this video, you may want to check out a similar marble run by clicking on the video on the left. If you want to see more epic LEGO creations, check out the video on the right. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.